Am I the asshole for not warning my wife that I had just farted on our puppy? My wife and I just got a new puppy. He is quite fuzzy. This is pertinent. The reason we got the dog now is because I'm currently unemployed and I am able to train him before I start my new contract. Telly is only 12 weeks old so he needs lots of sleep. I spend a good portion of my day in my recliner reading. His favorite spot to be is between my legs. He doesn't seem to care when I fart on him. No gagging sounds or anything. But he complains a lot if I get up while he is there. My wife came home from work yesterday and picked him up for a cuddle. Then quickly put him back down while dry heaving. Apparently the farts linger in his puffy fur. She said that I'm an asshole for not warning her. I didn't know she was going to sticky face in the dog and inhale like she had just come up from a two minute free dive. I didn't know she was going to sticky face in the dog and inhale like she had just come up from a two minute free dive. Thanks for this, I'm still laughing. Nah, now you know to warn her about future puppy contamination, and she knows to sniff before inhaling. Shouldn't be a big deal for reasonable people. Not the asshole this is freaking awesome. I will say that maybe you should check your diet or something if the smell lingers in the dog's fur for extended periods of time laughing my ass off. But maybe wear boxers or something damn lol. Poor little shit puppy lol. You ever hear or see girls talk about, puppy smell, that shit is like crack to women. If it's a Dutch oven to fart in bed and hold her under the sheets, what name does this have? Fluffy grenade? Playing catch? My cat loves to be in caves. So when I'm on the couch with a blanket over my legs she likes to nestle right up against my butt. She'll come out, rub on my face and I'm immediately like, ah how see you you smell like farts. My partner knows she's going to smell like farts. I know she's going to smell like farts. It's part of having a pet who likes to nestle into those warm spots. Nah, your wife will learn, lol. Not the asshole and just refreshing to see a post on here that doesn't end with an entire family in shambles or some equally as devastating. Just two differing opinions at an impasse made all the more interesting when farts were introduced as a variable. Am I the asshole for not inviting my ex-wife to my children's birthday? English is not my first language. Me, 42M, and my ex-wife, let's call her Rachel for the sake of the story, 44F, have twins Elias, 8M, and Ezra, 8M. My ex-wife and I divorced when they were both 3 years old and we have 50-50 custody. Rachel is married again and has a stepdaughter who is 9 years old, let's call her Mia. Lately, the twins threw tantrums several times when I took them to their mother and I recently found out the reason why. According to the twins, Rachel is only with Mia, when they ask her to play with them, help with their homework, she is, busy, and, boys are big enough that mommy can let their hands go, if one of the twins and Mia fight. Rachel always takes Mia's side and puts the twins in timeout or grounds them or they don't get dessert, etc. As it turns out, this has been going on for weeks. I have met Mia a few times, on birthdays or holidays, and I honestly understand where my sons are coming from. If she doesn't get something, she throws a tantrum, starts crying, even in public, and screams, I want this. Until my ex or her father gives it to her, which they do every single time. I sat down to talk about this with Rachel, who said, I quote, I can't help it, Mia is so sweet and I've always wanted a little princess, so of course I want to spend more time with her, I tried to make a compromise with her, but she refused to listen. The twin's birthday is in two days and the day before yesterday they asked me that they didn't want Mia to be here. Because I want my sons to have a good time at their birthday party, I informed my ex about this. Rachel was nervous to say the least. She said, if they want to exclude Mia, she won't come either. I offered to organize a small cake party during her week where Mia could also participate, but she didn't want to hear it. She accused me of spoiling the twins and pushing out a nine-year-old girl. I said okay, then spend the day with Mia, but don't come when Mia is with her. My twins were a little sad that their mom wasn't coming, but when I told them that their cousins were coming and their other family members too and they immediately cheered up. It looks like Rachel informed some joint family members about this who just called and texted that I'm an asshole for excluding a 9-year-old girl. For no reason, I feel that my actions are correct, but I would like some second opinions. So am I the asshole? Not the asshole for protecting your kids and fulfilling their wishes. You will be however if you don't go for more custody and inform the courts what is happening. Your children are telling you they are being neglected. They are being made to feel lesser than and their biological parent is neglecting them, punishing them and showing preferential treatment to their step-sibling. This absolutely is and will take a toll on their mental health. You have way bigger issues here than a birthday party. Not the asshole. You did your job, you put your children first. Side note. Is everyone popping out twins these days? Of the 10 posts I read, 8 have twins. It's either fake or I need to start saving more money for when I have kids because it seems the chance of having a twin is 50% these days. Not the asshole. 
You didn't exclude Mia for no reason. The reason is because she would ruin the day for the birthday kids, who expressed they don't want her to come. You know this, they know this, Rachel knows this. The fact that she would choose not to attend only punctuates the problem of her putting Mia over them. Not the asshole. Maybe it's time to reconsider going for more custody. If your boys are being neglected and excluded for her stepdaughter, you should do everything you can to keep them out of that environment. Shame on your ex for being such a despicable mother. Not the asshole but a smart thing to do would be to arrange a big family outing, not birthday related, invite all the extended family, Rachel, her husband, Mia, insist ones accusing you of excluding, for no reason, had to come. Plan the activity something where kids will have to naturally share, compromise. Aquarium, theme park followed by a play in the park then dinner. Then let Mia's tantrums and Rachel and her husband's parenting speak for itself. Your twins have expressed that they don't want Mia at their birthday party, and it's important to listen to them. It's their special day, and they should feel comfortable and happy pensive face. Am I the asshole for being an overachiever in my pregnancy? I'm 26 and I have a friend who is 26 as well. We met as part of a larger friend group and have gotten closer since we're both pregnant at the same time I'm 28 weeks and she's 23 weeks. We're still friends with the other girls and see them regularly but we see each other weekly, go shopping, go out to eat etc. The last month or so, she's been cancelling plans a lot because she's not feeling well which is understandable. Her husband is deployed and she just has her sister near her but her sister has a family. I told her each time to text me if she needs anything that I'm only a call away. I also made her a lasagna which she's been craving a lot and had my husband drop it off. She came over yesterday when I was making cookies and cupcakes for my nephews. We were hanging out when she asked me what I did in the times our plans were cancelled so I started telling her that I caught up with an old friend who was in town visited family, signed up for prenatal yoga and I finished the last of our nursery shopping and started putting it together with my husband. She seemed to slump so I asked her what was wrong and she said that she wishes she could put her nursery with her husband. I gave her a side hug and told her I'm sorry that he's not here, then to cheer her up I asked her if she wanted our friends and I to come over and help her. It wouldn't be the same but at least that way she'll have her girls with her. She stiffened and I let her go to give her space and started icing the cookies and cupcakes. I asked her if she wanted some but she shook her head and just kept staring at me before she asked quietly why did I have to be this way. I asked her what she meant and she just gestured in my direction and said, like this, why do you always have to make me feel shitty about myself? I was shocked and asked her what I did and she said that I was always an overachiever but that she didn't think I'd try so hard in my pregnancy too. She started listing what I've been doing which is baking, cooking food all the time, staying fit and going for walks and stuff keeping my house spotless, still having an active sex life and a social life. I asked her if she wanted me to be miserable instead, and reminded her that I did those stuff even before getting pregnant, it's not like I was or I'm doing anything extraordinary, just regular life stuff. She shook her head and said that I just had to make her look like a lazy cow in comparison. I was gaping by this point and what could I say? She was accusing me of something I apparently did by being myself so I just asked her to please leave and she did. I thought about sending her a text to make sure she's okay but what would I even say? I asked advice from another third party friend who doesn't know her and she said that I should distance myself because she doesn't sound like a friend. I'm stuck in the middle because maybe my actions did make her feel bad? But on the other hand why would they make her feel bad? Nah, you make cookies, you have energy, you seem bouncy and bubbly. I'm jealous and I don't even know you nor am I currently pregnant. Your friend may be struggling to keep going every day and seeing you seemingly bounce through life flawlessly, even if this isn't the case, may be hard for her. Is she projecting her feeling yes? Is it unhealthy yes? Is your friend okay deep down? Absolutely not. She said that I was always an overachiever but that she didn't think I'd try so hard in my pregnancy too. Pregnancy aside, she's been jealous of you. The hormones are just amplifying it. She sounds like the type that loves to hate you. Not the asshole. Nah, I personally had the worst pregnancies felt gross and was sick the whole time. And I was so mad when women would talk about how much they enjoyed being pregnant. It's a combo of the hormones and feeling like crap. That being said, I was only in labor for 25 minutes with my first, 15 minutes for the second. So I have the worst pregnancies and best deliveries. Everyone is different. You are probably not the best person to be supporting her right now. Pick the mother hen in your friend group, other than you, lol, and send them in. Join in for group activities, but let someone else take the reins for a bit. She needs both help and space right now. Edit. Typo. She sounds depressed. She's pregnant and alone with a deployed husband. Distance yourself if you must but please treat her with compassion because she is struggling. IDK. I sense a bit of momlympics in the tone of your post. 
It's great that you are so active, but I do believe you're getting some satisfaction out of the comparison. Instead of replying, so you'd rather me be. You could have been more considerate and uplifting and said something about each pregnancy being different, and she's doing a great job, etc. You are the asshole. Not the asshole. Your friend seems to be down for whatever reason. She needs to establish contact with a professional to help her cope before and after childbirth. She's pregnant and alone, seems depressed, which really doesn't bode well for a postpartum period. Get together with your friends and get her help. Am I the asshole for wanting my wife's friend to leave after she's overstayed her welcome without contributing? So here's the story. My wife and I are in our early 20s, running a business together and trying to build a stable life. A few months back, we took in my wife's friend, who got kicked out of her mom's place. We wanted to help her get back on her feet, but it's been three months now, and honestly, I'm way past my limit. I'm running our business, cleaning up the apartment, and even driving her friend to her job at a gas station. She's not paying rent, not helping with bills, and doesn't even pitch in for gas when I'm the one driving her around. She makes about $1,000 a month, but instead of trying to save up or contribute, she seems pretty comfortable with the setup, which I never intended to be long term. Meanwhile, my wife thinks I'm being too harsh and that I need to give her friend more time, but at this point, I don't even care about that. It's not just about her staying with us. We've had normal relationship arguments, and my wife shares them with her friend, so it feels like I'm constantly up against both of them. It's exhausting, especially since I'd always put my wife first, while she seems to be choosing her friend over me. I'm seriously feeling like walking away just to get a break from all the stress they're putting on me. To top it off, her mom, who kicked her out, is fine with her again and is even taking her on vacation. It feels like I'm stuck handling her responsibilities while her family has moved on. I want her out, like yesterday. Am I the asshole for finally putting my foot down and saying it's time for her to go? Edit. The way she got kicked out was because her mom is mentally abusive. I don't know much about the situation, but if my mom were mentally abusive, I wouldn't go back to her house, take vacations with her, or go to parties and get drunk with her and family. She's supposed to be joining the army, and she was supposed to start basic training about four months ago. Apparently, her recruiter isn't doing much to help, but despite saying for months that she's going to basic, I haven't seen her try to get a new recruiter or look into other options. I don't know a lot about the process, but I'm not sure how long it usually takes to get things moving. My wife gave her a timeline to be ready by January, but from what I can see, she's not going to make it by then. She's not making enough to get set up on her own. The job she has only covers her groceries, and she isn't making enough to save for a place, let alone a down payment. She doesn't even pay for her own phone, her stepdad covers that. Not the asshole, I think you need to take your wife out somewhere, maybe a weekend get away to have a serious discussion or when the friend is at work. Before you do so, write down your list of cons to this woman being in your home, affecting your relationship with your wife because of the stress. Also add that neither of you should be completely supporting a grown adult. If you take the time to think and write things down, it will be easier for you to speak calmly either way your wife and to get your point across. You will either come to an agreement T or compromise or you might have to issue an ultimatum. Not the asshole and I think it's time to have a serious chat with your wife about why she seems to be choosing her deadbeat friend over her partner. Not the asshole. Doesn't even pitch in for gas. FFS she even works at a station. Info. Where and why are you driving her around? What arguments are you having exactly? Not the asshole. You and wife were helping friend with a temporary place to stay, not adopting her. But you should have set a firm timeline, outline of expectations, and house rules when the friend moved in. So you told your wife friend has to go. What did wife say? Not the asshole your wife is clearly the asshole in this situation. She doesn't see the two of you as a team. 